What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Ghost Ship Aftermath. My name is Splattercat and we are here in the stairwell after running from a bunch of When you find the captain's cart, we should be able to get access to his logs. Let's see if we can access any medical logs. Head to medical, deck four, operation. Yeah, we already know what's going to happen on medical deck, but I was probably going to head back there anyways just because we're running out of real estate. Like every floor that we've been to has been totally locked down with just enemies everywhere. This is actually a pretty alien dense run as far as this game goes, in my experience anyways. Out of the three or four games that I've played, most of the decks seem to be abandoned the last couple times I've played, but this time there's just enemies everywhere. Written on the wall with blood. There's blood everywhere. It must have been chaos. You're just now noticing? We've been walking around on this ship for like an hour and a half and you're just now noticing the blood that's everywhere? I hate you so much right now. I don't suppose I could come back to the ship and get that plasma pistol, huh? Have a look around. Look for a screen with logs on the system. Okay, so there were bad guys here. I don't remember where. I think they were in this room right here. Or maybe med bay too. But they were definitely bad guys and we ran from them. Quickly. I'm gonna check the corridor first because we want to make sure that this is clear before we go anywhere else. I don't want to be backing up into any enemies if we have to run away. And so what I'm gonna to attempt to do in this case is just make sure that everything behind us is safe. So there's a radioactive biohazard slash quarantine area right there. That med lab looks okay. We got another dark floor, so we need to move, unfortunately. We got cold storage. It says the door's online, but it's not opening. Maybe it's because the pressure lock's broken? Either way, that's a no-go. I suppose we've got enough area cleared out to where I feel semi-safe about all this. How much light do we have in here? Trying really to conserve my flashlight. But it's just so dark. Oh hell, they've got specimens in here. Oh dude. No, I don't want to be in here anymore. Oh, they got a fish tank. How pleasurable. I love fish tanks. Although that one appears to have grown quite too large for its own tank. That can't be good for the oxygenation of the water. A whole bunch of randomly labeled chemicals in here. A med kit, so we'll keep that in mind for later, just in case we need it. That's it! It's locked down too. I can override this one though. It's just a privacy protocol I can hack. Give me a moment. Alright, that's it. Playing the last six logs in date order. You need to stay close so I can record the logs. Playing the first log. Well, today was just another day on the force. Woke up from cryogenics, not in the best of moods. Then Higgins decided to throw up all over me again. It's three times in a row now after he has serious freezer issues or he fucking hates me. I'm curious to what's happened though. There's still no contact from the colony. I hope it's not another case of the Tyric Plague. The captain is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I've served with him for four years now, and I've never seen him so on edge. Even at the Battle of Sidok. I know when something's not right. I just I just get that feeling. Captain Frank signing off. All prepped here in medical. The Marines are about to launch and board the space station. I've expressed the firm fact that helmets must be worn at all times. We don't have a clue what's happened there. And if it's some sort of disease, then I want our troops protected. No quarantine issues when they come back on board. I'm ready here for whatever we need to treat. The captain won't let me go on this mission. He wants me here on the ship. This is one of the missions where I may be more needed with the drop crew. He's, he's never asked me not to go on a drop before. This further raises my suspicions. There's there's something he's not telling us. 
Captain Frank sent me off. Oh, I have seen a lot of alien life around the galaxy, but I have never seen anything like what we have in Med Bay 1. We lost half the Marines to these little critters and to other strange creatures. All the aliens I've seen have had some resemblance to a lot of the species back home on Earth, but these things, they... They're different. Well, it, it's different. It's very different. I, in appearance, it looks like some sort of giant insect. Whatever the fuck they are, they took out half our Marines in less than five minutes. I'm doing an autopsy as soon as Lieutenant Jacobs is back from Med Bay 6. A few of the Marines made it back unharmed, but most of them who made it back are in medical. They all have some sort of fever. Jacobs is looking into it. He should be back soon. I normally complain my job is boring, and I never see much of the action. But today, all that's changed. Captain Frank signing off. Well, the autopsies confirm my suspicions. Those things are alien. Even by alien standards. I've done a full audio recording of the autopsy, and I'll follow up with some more tests. They have no internal organs. I mean, not even a brain or a heart. My god, I don't even know how they breathe. They have bones, which are made of some sort of polarized silicon. They have an exoskeleton, which makes them a tough son of a bitch. They don't seem to have any weak points, as they have no essential organs. I'm running some cell structure tests, and some biometric tests. We should be getting something back soon. The surviving marines mentioned at least half a dozen different types, not just one like we have in Med Bay 1. Captain Frank signing off. The last six hours have been, well, busy and scary and damn right weird. If, if that much has happened, I, I just don't have time to make a full log. I'm making this log because the shit has hit the fan here and I don't know if we're gonna make it. The aliens, they are everywhere. It looks like any contact with these things is contagious. There's an infection spreading which is turning everyone against each other. I'm sure the infection's airborne. We're picking up some unknown traces in the atmosphere composition. We've locked up the marines and crew which have been bitten in the quarantine area. We've carried out two autopsies on infected crew. From the outside, they look normal. From the inside, they look normal. But they're definitely not normal. There's still cellular activity in the dead infected crew. It, it looks like... Well, it, it's, too, it's too early to say. If this is my last log, leave this ship if you're still alive. Signing off. Captain Frank, Tyler Frank, Chief Medical Officer, CDF Goliath. We're evacuating the ship. The captain's declared the ship lost and is remaining on board and setting the self-destruct. We've been authorized to use the life pods. We're gonna blow all these fuckers to hell and hopefully pick a safe zone on the Icarus planet as far away from the colony as we can. From there, we can await a rescue. It's the only chance we have. Captain Bailey's gonna take out the orbital and then scuttle the ship. Despite how he's acted recently, he's, he's still my friend, and I, I respect his decision to go down with the ship. I left him one of the MK4 prototype plasma rifles in the supply room. No doubt he may need it. I told him I changed the code to 8978, so I hope he remembers it. He may find it very useful when he heads back to the bridge. I'm attaching this message to the CSBBEL system, so somebody back home will pick this up in the remains. We've had to destroy the ship, the space station, and we need to nuke the colony site. The recent tests have confirmed that these weird alien creatures are genetically engineered, I'm sure of it. I don't know how they got on the colony or the station, but they breed at an alarming rate. As well as the aliens, there's the infection, which has to be related somehow. We need more time to study it, but time is what we don't have. I have to go now. But if you get this message, they come and get us from the planet below. We'll last around two weeks with the food rations Perry has managed to collect. He's a brave guy. Signing off. Captain Frank. Chief Medical Officer. CDF Goliath. I'm picking up a problem with cooling tower three. It's overheating. I estimate that in about 30 minutes, the secondary heat exchangers are going to blow. If that happens, it's not good. We'll probably take out the Goliath. You need to get over to Cooling Tower 3 in Engineering pronto and see what we can do. The Cooling Tower 3 can be accessed in Engineering Deck 2. Be quick, Jake. We don't have much time. I don't want to be that guy, but maybe we should blow this thing up. I'm just saying. I, I think I've said that three or four times now on this adventure, but 
maybe we should just scuttle this thing considering it's what the captain was trying to do. Like, I don't know who we're working for right now, but I'm thinking this is a really, really bad idea. And that for the betterment of mankind, we should probably just sink this thing. Like, right now. So I don't know where this storage is that they were talking about with the prototype plasma pistol with the code 8978, but it would be nice to have one. He said that he left it... These are gun cases right here. These are what you always get guns out of, but I don't see anything. That one says biohazard. God. I think we might be in trouble. Either way, we're gonna have to go get to that coolant rod because I suppose the game is kind of railroading us in that direction. I'm gonna do my best not to get bitten by any enormous fleas while I'm here. Got plenty of oxygen, so let me... What are these, like medical pods like they use in... Yeah, they look like the little pods from DBZ. Let me turn my flashlight off for a minute because we should be okay on light for now. Nothing has deemed it necessary to jump out and try and grab us in a little bit, so I'm starting to feel a little bit frosty. Alright, so we're good down here. Is this the storage he was talking about, maybe? 8978? 8978? Anybody want to let me in so I can get a real gun? Because a real gun would definitely make this adventure a little bit less terrifying. And I'm going to be honest, it's been about an hour and a half now of me just being kind of shaky and jumpy. I don't think this is good for my heart rate. I think this is probably bad for me. And you know this is a bad idea. Everyone's infected. We are all fooped. Okay, we got a bunch of dead marines. If it's locked, it's locked. Quarantine is locked down. If you really want to go in there, it can be unlocked from security on deck six. Okay. Check the cages back here. I don't see anything that I want. Let's go lights out for a couple minutes. How are we doing on battery? 35 minutes? Okay, we should be alright. I mean, if we don't get down to engineering, I think we're toast anyways in 30 minutes is what he said. I don't know if that's actually like a hard cap, like he's being serious about that, or if the game is just kind of lending urgency to itself, but... pretty strong curtain. Well, tons of med kits, plasma clips. At least we found ammo for something. I mean, I mean it's got to be around here somewhere. Much beyond that, I think we've just got medical supplies in here. I don't know what gun those go to, but... Let's continue on our way. I mean, at least we know where medical supplies are now that we really, really need them. We can backtrack and come back. Let me note the door. I think this was Med Bay 1. Med Bay 1. Okay. So we know where we can get supplies from now. I could take the stairs and just get out of here, but since I'm deciding to live on the edge... It seems strange to me that this place had bad guys before, and now that they're not here... I don't know if maybe that changes with the phase of the game, or how that works, but they went somewhere. And I don't think they vanished into thin air. They seem a bit too corporeal to do that. Continue checking all the med bays because we need a better gun. God. Oh, hell. 
There's one. Unfortunately, he seems to have serious problems with the door. So down he goes. Learn to walk, idiot. Couple more plasma clips. We'd be in the money if we could find a gun right now. Damn. We need it badly. We need it very, very badly because we are all ammoed up. Those things hurt like hell, by the way, if they get near you. They do like 50 damage a swing. It's... It's pretty rowdy. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's pretty rowdy. I'm not going to take a bite out of that turd sandwich until I have to. Well, maybe the supply room is where he said the rifle was. Oh, cry. Oh, hell. And so there you go. The game uses monster closets. It's not something that I'm a fan of. Like, you saw how it spawned those right there. I'm not really a fan of that mechanism, but that's how the game goes. And so that was our first playthrough of Ghost Ship Aftermath. I think the monster closets are a little bullshit. I... I don't know. I just don't know. And so because the game uses permadeath, essentially we can't continue from where we were, but it does encourage you to play the game through a few more times. Now I think I'm probably going to make one more playthrough of this game because I do enjoy it and I'm hoping that we get an alternate storyline. I was feeling good about that playthrough. Damn, we should have gone for the supply room. But I'm hoping they decide to change that mechanic where they just spawn things on all sides of you all of a sudden. Because without, I don't know, I don't think there was a right option right there. I think I could have taken the zombies if I had gone forward. But still, I don't really, I don't like monster closets. Never have, never will. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the third and final episode of Ghost Ship Aftermath. I'll probably do another series. I'll probably do like five more episodes of it maybe because I do like the game. I do think that it's fun. If you're interested in watching it, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you all there. Take care out there everybody and hi do.